today in the modern parent. After this weekend's weather, we all probably feel like spring has finally sprung, but if you've yet to enjoy the great outdoors with your family because you're still stricken with cabin fever, there are ways to fight back. The Children's Workshop explains why getting outside is the number one cure. Engaging in kids' activities with your family not only keeps you healthy, but offers major bonding time with your brood. So no matter what the weather forecast says, well, you don't want to be outside if it's pouring, but you should consider spending more time now outdoors. Get outside and get the exercise, because all you need is one hour per day to get that natural vitamin D and to also get that exercise that's required. And it's that one hour per day that can really make an impact on your child. Experts recommend that not only should you encourage your child to play outdoors more, you should join them. Parents are the first models. If the parents are staying in the house and they're not being motivated to go outside, your child's not going to be motivated. Outdoor activities for kids encourage youngsters to explore the natural world. So go ahead, get your hands dirty. And there's so many things you can do outside, especially now that the sun's starting to come out and it's spring. You can do stuff like get ready for a garden, stop planting, or look at the areas that you want to start cleaning out from the winter that have all debris in it now from the snow and all that other stuff. So if doing yard work isn't exactly your forte, maybe walking Fido is. I know that's what I'd rather do. Walk the pet around the yard, walk them around the block, or even just go for a walk with your child. If it's just around the neighborhood, you're still getting outside and getting that fresh air. There are also projects you can start indoors that can later be brought outside. It's an option if you don't have a yard for your child to dig and play in. Even if you don't have a backyard, you can start a little garden in the, in the house, and then you can get buckets. You don't need a large space to do a garden. You can get buckets, and you can have your children sit outside for a half hour, planting them in those buckets, and getting them ready, or pruning stuff outside. No matter how you spend your time outdoors, feeding the hibernation and soaking in the sun is just what the doctor ordered. There should be no excuse why you're staying inside at least 15 minutes in the morning, another 45 minutes in the afternoon, or vice versa, but at least an hour a day you should really be getting outside. And for some more tips on what you and your family can do outdoors, you can just head to our website at foxprovidence.com.